as to when that right hand is coming. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Big body kick lands. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well. Her timing, accuracy. Oh, oh, she's over there. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. Having taken such a massive hit. Nice body. Lands a good combination. Oh, straight right. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And she caught the kick. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Oh, she lands a combination now. Nice volume of strikes, and it was hard to find a miss in there. She's on point. Volume is very important, but accuracy stands out above all in that combination. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. And she... Oh. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, the submission attempts keep on coming, going for a choke now. My triangle, my triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Just in time, thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is, so the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so there's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? Continuing to work the body to great effect. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish the fight. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damaging strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, underhook, and getting back to your feet. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a kick out. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. Man, her submission attempts keep on coming. Going for the choke now. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. into side control now as she's going for her arm here. And this might just be a matter of time. 